Hello and welcome to White Horse Music TV! My name is Richard Bedina and I'm co-owner of this wonderful shop with my lovely wife Michelle Bedina, who is not bald like me. She's really nice. Um, today I am showing, um, showing Joy's some violins. She has a child, well, 16 year old, who is, um, who is doing eighth grade violin and so needs a good violin. Um, and so I've chosen four of my favorites. Favorite number one, I will show you what it looks like. This one is called Struna Maestro Extra. You see how it's really beautifully antiqued, like it looks really old, has little scratches and things like that. It's funny to be buying something that's already pre-scratched, but they're trying to make it look like it's 300 year old violin. And they're a particular 300 year old violin. The shape of the F holes and the shape of the instrument, um, to an expert, they will straight away know that this is made um, as a copy of a Guarnerius violin. Guarnerius was a famous violin maker 300 years ago, and if it was a real one, it would be worth millions of dollars. And I'd be extremely excited. So um, the, this one, the Struna Maestro Extra, is called Extra because it uses extra good quality wood. Um, the spruce on the front is very old Italian spruce, which is very expensive and fancy wood, um, but it's tonal values are really good, so it, it makes a really deep, strong, ringing sort of sound. It rings really well. It's really resonant. And the wood on the back is Bosnian maple, so very beautiful wood. I love it. I love the look of it. Violin number two is this one, which is not too dissimilar in its looks because it's um, made also as a copy of an antique violin. This one is called um, a J. J. Haider violin, and J. Haider make several models of violins. They make their standard one, which is a, made of Chinese woods, and they, then they use uh, then they make their Euro wood models. And then this one is their top Europe wood model called their Vuillem model. So it's um, based on a violin that was made by Jean Baptiste Vuillem. Vuillem? Vuillem. Uh, a difficult name to say. Uh, a French maker about 200 years ago. And Vuillem was an amazing maker and he was a bit of a copyist as well. He made copies of Stradivarius violins. And one of his copies was so good that everyone thought it was a Stradivarius for about a hundred years until the Hill brothers in England decided, no, that's actually not a Stradivarius. They still call it the Balfour Strad, um, even though they know that it was made by Jean Baptiste Vuillem. So that is the J. Haider, Jean Baptiste Vuillem. This next one is called a Lilo Salerno violin. So Lilo Salerno um, studied at the Cremona School of Violin Making and it looks antiqued but not as antiqued as the um, the other two. So it's like they would call this very tastefully antiqued. Not that the other ones aren't tasteful. That was a bit of a slap in the face to the other two. Um, so Lilo Salerno, he studied at the Cremona School of Violin Making in Italy. So he's an Italian man. And he set up a, a very small workshop in Germany where these ones are made. So this is made by his apprentice in Germany. Um, and extremely well made. The, the um, carving of the wood is incredible. And they're really nice and resonant violins. So that's a really good one. This one has a little bit of a, a varnish defect just in here, which is interesting. And that makes it several hundred dollars less than it was. Hmm, okay. Well, that's good. Uh, next up, we have this one. This one is a very, very, very old violin. This is a Klotz violin. Klotz was a famous violin maker about 300 years ago. And so this is a very, very, very old violin. It actually has repairs that I should tell Joyce about. So let me see if I can find it. 
over this side. Yeah, there is a line. I don't know if you can see it. A line here going through there. And that is a crack that was repaired really well. So there is actually a, a sound post patch inside the violin under there that um, strengthens up that bit and little cleats along the inside. And that's the traditional way to fix that type of crack. And so it's been repaired a long, long time ago. I can tell it's a very old repair. And there's an old repair across here as well. So there you go. So it's, it's had a bit of a life, but you know, most of them have at that sort of age. And it's a beautiful violin as well. So what I will do is I'll play these violins because it's important to hear what they sound like. So this is the Struna Maestro Extra first. And I'm going to use a fancy bow as well. I'm using an $800 bow. Gosh, I'm a bit fancy, aren't I? Okay, Strina Maestro Extra. is like a really really huge sounding violin so very big strong lots of depth and and you know when you go up high it's got lots and lots of power and it's the sort of violin that I chose and thought mm, this will be good for someone who's doing eighth grade violin so really really like that one and it responds really well as well like yeah I like that violin okay so this next one is the um, J. Hyder VM model. I didn't do my first fancy bit. Also a very powerful violin. I would say similar in power to the Struna Maestro Extra. It's more sort of violery down the bottom, this particular one. Really big and deep down there. Slightly slower to respond than the Struna Maestro Extra, but really like someone who has come from playing viola will be interested in this one more so. But also beautiful. I actually would struggle to choose between those ones. Yeah, I'm struggling. So next, Lilo Salerno. All right, let's see how he goes. Oh, I'll do the fancy bit at the start. say that one is crystal clear it's a very clear sound it has depth and strength like the other two um, I would say the bit where it really excels is up on the E string it's one of the most sort of like pure and ringing sounding violins I've heard up there um, maybe not definitely not as deep sounding as the VM probably more similar depth to the Struna Maestro Extra on the bottom. Hmm. Okay. Now, the very, very old Klotz violin. Let's give this one a try. So, 
I would say that has similar sort of depth to the Lilo Salerno and the um, Struna Maestro Extra. It's sort of, I'd, I'd say it's very, very softer in, very, very slight, very, very softer, very, very slightly softer in volume, but has a very pleasant sound across the strings. Yeah, it's a very beautiful sounding violin, I would say. Hmm, okay. So now what I might do is I'll play each one of those back the other way, and I won't talk as much in between. I'll just have a really good listen. I might play a little bit softer, just see if I can have a good listen. extra. joys which one or ones that she should pick and thanks for watching and have a nice day bye